Now, last week, one of the very different rules, the kickoff. You see how it's done. You kick from the 30, both teams get set at the 30 and 35. You can't move until the returner touches the football. And here we go. We are underway from Houston. A Jane E. Harris has a ball, makes a move, and a good one. Out to the 30, 35, and the 40. What a start. And another big return off this kickoff roll that so far I got to say I like a lot. And so now we will see. So Castillo, the field goal. Houston strikes first, and now it's St. Louis's turn. Jordan Tahamu, the 22-year-old quarterback, takes the field when we come back. Spirit says Mumphrey on the turn out to the 29, and we get to see Jordan Tahamu for the first time. He's just 22 years old from Pearl City, Hawaii, the youngest starting quarterback in this league. And, uh, you know, we got to sit with him yesterday. He's a big boy. He is. We talked about PJ Walker being an athlete, but he's but he's just a true passer. Jordan, he is a big, strong. He is a runner, and he is not afraid to mix it up in between the box. And running, this team will do a lot of. They go to Matt Jones on the opening carry, and Jones has himself I'll give him four and a half on that play. So you look at the offensive line for this team, and that's important, Greg, because they ran the ball 59% of the time last week. It, it's, that's really not the XFL way, and they've kind of, Chuck Long mentioned it to us yesterday in our meeting. He said, we made a conscious effort to be a run-first team, time of possession. You'll never hear June Jones mention those words. They made a defender. Those two-man concepts are very NFL-friendly plays. And that's a great third down conversion to start the game. Tom who just slips on the fake, but now he's got room to run. Look at this. A completely busted play, and he's going to turn it into a big game. A seven-yard gain. He could have lost seven on that play. And, and what did he say yesterday? His coaches are all over him about sliding. Well, his first time running, he got down. He didn't take the hit. But as he said, if he needs to get yards or a first down, he is not afraid to lower his head and take on a guy at the back level. There's no doubt. That's the plan. Uh, first down here is an RPO, and over the middle he's got a completion, and wide open two is caught by Mumphrey, and a big game down to the 20. Sunday, Sunday! I go! It's a blitz, Tiamo in trouble, they're going to set up a screen, somehow Jones held on, he's got blocking, Jones inside the five! Yesterday, Chuck Long told us that most plays, they're always going to have a tight end. Well, on that third and long, they took Marcus Lucas off the field. They went four wide. I think Houston just assumed they would drop back deep, four wide offense. And there, oh, you can see two high safeties. Everybody is soft. Almost the entire back end is in the, is in the end zone. Great play call there by Chuck Long to take advantage, show a different personnel group, show pass deep and just an easy simple ball to one of your best playmakers on a screen it's very hard to have that pass compliment when you're not as efficient as they're used to being third down and five four man rush to Abu throws far sideline on the money and our target and it's Russell who has to catch for a first down this is a great great ball Amu hits Russell. He is in stride. He puts this ball low and to the outside. Does he? Yep. What a great job. Knowing he's on the boundary, Russell goes down with two knees. That's an accurate time ball. Really well executed to convert on third down. Coming back near side as Washington gets a good block and makes a move. Diving towards midfield and he should have a first down. He got a heck. And Andrew McDonald, who will go in, you saw him play a little bit of right tackle last, last week when he replaced Matt McCants. Now he's going to go in. He's kind of their swing guy. Spent a brief time in Carolina. Got to see him a little bit. He's a big, athletic guy. They feel very confident that they got three tackles who could play and play at a high level. Go with Jenny Taft. All right, Jordan. Well, for you guys, you had the touchdown in the first drive of the game, but since then, the interception, you go for it on fourth, you come up short. How do you get this offense back on track? You know, just uh, continue to trust each other. You know, we play as a team, so we're going to go in there and make some corrections and come back out. And still plenty of, go plenty of game left, so uh, we're going to go out and try and score again. A lot of game. Thank you for your time. Jenny, thank you. And Jordan, for 
taking that moment to answer the question. There is a lot of time left, but they do have to fix some things, find a way to get things going against this roughneck defense. Good first half, 21-6 to Houston in front. Remember, halftime only 10 minutes in the XFL, so don't go anywhere. Back after this. They want to stay committed to the run, and I understand you have to be true to your identity. But again, you're down 15 to arguably the most explosive player and offense in the entire league. You've got to find a way to get this first down and start opening up your offense. On third down, it's a conversion, Tom, with a beautiful throw to Washington. And boy, do they need that. There you go. That, that's kind of what we were talking about, just more of a traditional pass game. You see Washington, he's off the side of the of the screen. He just runs a basic kind of curl post. Ta'amu does a great job getting the ball out of his hand. Good timing third down conversion. Gets it out quick. Look, I, I wasn't sure. That's a terminology that I'm used to in our kind of zone read stuff. Anytime you hear teams use book, it's kind of a code word for read. So that was an even, so a right side run. And Ta'amu had the ability to pull that if he thought he could get around the left side. So we keep, keep an eye out for that book term. Tells us it's going to be a zone read concept. Tabu pressure sees it. Big opening to run. He's got a first down. He does slide as he told us he's trying to do more. Pressure came. He escaped out of there and using those legs to move the chains for 11. Yeah, this is a pass all the way. But again, they're in man. There's nobody in the middle of the field. They're all backs are turned chasing their defenders. You see the running back took. The 11, Trips right, 601 spot trail. Trips right, 601 spot trail. So thus far, every time they've used a three-digit 601, in this case, it's been a pass. So, you know, again, it's really interesting. They see the insight and the communication and start building. Yep, here you go, another pass. Third down, needed, got a conversion for a first down. And still going. It's Pearson L working his way to the end zone. Is he in, waiting for a signal? No, so he stepped out at the one. But a third. Rolling, throwing, completing, touchdown! And Pearson Hill got enough juice to get it in the end zone and a great opening drive for St. Louis in the third. I, I, I think they got something in this Pearson Hill, guys. Hey, let's talk. Who's coaching him? Ah, Sahir Akeem. Anyone who's familiar with that St. Louis Rams, greatest show on turf, Kurt Warner, Isaac St. Louis, Lewis, Tory like Hall, two points. The ball be placed at the five-yard line. Azakim was the slot, dynamic kick returner, punt returner. He 